Hey everyone, Jared here. I am an admin and a moderator in several tractor groups on Facebook, as well as I spend time in forums. And I often see a lot of the same questions being asked over and over. Uh, some of those questions can be simply answered with a, uh, you know, just a typed reply. But there are many times where I feel a video could be better at educating or explaining the answer to their question. So I thought it might be nice to come up with a new series of videos and I'm going to call these Tractor Basics. My hope for these is that these will help educate people who are maybe new to tractors. Uh, they, it might be their very first tractor purchase. Maybe they're scared to ask questions. Maybe they've owned a tractor, but still feel like they could expand their knowledge. Uh, we all learn everything new every day, right? Even though I've been around tractors for a long time, I still don't know everything. So I'm hoping that those of you that do own tractors and, and feel very versed will still keep an open mind and consider these as maybe educational and share with me ideas for things that you think I could make videos about to help other people. So today's Tractor Basic is going to revolve around hydraulics. A couple of the questions that I see show up a lot in the forums or Facebook groups is either A, why do my tractor hydraulics leak down? Or two, my tractor hydraulics are leaking down. Is this normal? And that, the answer to that is a yes and no. The yes part is, yes, it is very normal for hydraulics to leak down. And I'll explain why in a minute. But the no part of that answer is leak down may not be normal depending upon the speed of the leak down. If it is leaking down too fast, it could mean that there is a worn out or failed part. It could mean poor manufacturing, anything like that. But uh, so why is leak down normal? Well, I have here in front of me a loader valve. Okay, this is a valve body, has the inlet and outlet ports here. And then these are the two spools. These are what are moved in and out, actuated with the loader stick. We're going to completely ignore the fact that hydraulic fluid leaves this, goes back to the tank, power beyond all that. And we're just going to imagine that the hydraulic fluid is coming in here, stops it being pressurized. When you actuate your loader lever, you are moving one of these spools. And these spools are a round metal piece of steel that is precision ground to fit inside this valve body. Now it has machined into it, which you'll see here in a minute, many grooves and channels. And when this is moved, it will combine and share, open up a port from the hydraulic fluid coming in and it will put it over to the hose that's going to the proper side of the cylinder for you to lift your loader. Now, I told you to forget the part about going back to the tank, but, but at the same time, it's also doing that for the other side of the cylinder, right? The, in order to move the piston and cylinder, the other side has to lose hydraulic fluid. So that hose is then being also at the same time connected to the port that's going back to the tank so that hydraulic fluid can leave the cylinder. But, so, basic operation there, right? But I didn't explain why it leaks down. Well, that comes down to this spool here. There are no O-rings on this spool. It is a, once again, finely ground, very tight tolerance piece of steel that is slid into this valve body. If it was the exact same size as the valve body, you would never be able to move it because it would be, it would basically be stuck, right? So it has to be machined a little bit under the diameter of the hole that it's going into. Because of that little bit of difference, a little bit of clearance for that, hydraulic fluid can move through there. Now, if that clearance is large, that's where you get your larger and faster leak down. If it is machined properly, you will still get leak down, but it'll be very, very minimal. It, it'll be, I'm sorry, it'll be much slower. Let me put it that way. If you set your tractor aside for several days, I guarantee you that you're still gonna see it move. 
So we're gonna disassemble this. I'm gonna show you what I mean. Pull this spool out, explain it, describe it, and we'll talk about it a little bit more again. But, but I just wanted everybody to know that once again, yes, this is normal. Now, I'm gonna add one more thing before I take this apart. This is completely ignoring the fact of whether or not you have any other check valves in line, like uh, dual pilot operated check valves, which I'll cover in a, in a different video, whether or not you have electrically operated solenoids that do have O-rings, but this is going to just more so revolve around loader valves, rear remote valves, lever actuated valves, even, you know, the valves like on a, on a log split or whatnot, it's the same thing. It's just got a spool that moves back and forth and does a uh, metal to metal fit that is going to have a little bit of leak by. But so yes, there are going to be situations where a hydraulic circuit does not leak by because of the way it was designed and there might be other seals or check valves holding fluid in place. But, but this explanation and video is just more so revolving around the standard valves that we're going to come across when we're talking about tractors and hydraulics. So, so let's just get, get this guy tore apart and I'll show you the insides. Okay, so I, I cracked this piece loose, took it over to a vise. These are pretty tight uh, and I, I just couldn't hold it to unscrew it. So I'm going to remove this. All right, so here's one of the return springs, but now let's pop this out. Nice and simple, the guy just pops right out, okay? Here comes the hydraulic fluid. And this bottom section, by the way, was packed with just, seemed like it was just regular grease. That's because there's a seal here that's keeping the fluid from coming down into this, into this area. Now there you go. This is what's actually moving or allowing hydraulic fluid to move through your valve. Now the only seals that are on this, once again, are down at the bottom and that's just to prevent the fluid from coming down into this section and being able to escape. Okay, just seals the bottom part, that's it. The rest of these grooves is what, allow, is, what is tying different ports on the front of this valve body to each other and allowing fluid to move. When it is sitting in its centered neutral position, then it's just allowing fluid to go in and right back out through the power beyond port. And it's not going to either one of your hoses that go to your hydraulic cylinders. And you have a, whether it be the loader, whether it be something, your, your three point, that cylinder just by gravity is pushing fluid in the valve body through the port and it's hitting in here and trying to go somewhere. Now, as you can see, and as I described, this spool does not have any seals on it, right? It is, it is a very nice, smooth piece of steel. But let me wipe it off. But you can see, as I insert it, I mean, it's gotta be, gotta be just right. It, it's a, it is a very snug fit, but not to the point where it interferes. Because if it interferes, then you're not gonna be able to move it. The only thing keeping that fluid from going port to port is a very small clearance. Now I'll put this back together. It's as simple as pushing that back through. Screwing that back on, tightening it. And that's it. So I hope that was helpful to everybody. If you have any more questions, please drop them in the comments below and let me know if this was helpful. And if you liked the video and it was helpful, please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up and like the video. Also subscribe, hit the bell notifications to be notified of upcoming videos. Now I'm gonna need help making sure that I make the right videos 
to help everybody in the most productive way that is fit. So if you are new to tractors, if there's anything you'd like to learn or like to see, then please drop me a line down in the comments, whether it be this one or any of the next Tractor Basic videos or any of my videos at, in, in general. And let me know what you'd like to see and I'll do my best to try to keep a tally and fulfill these videos and keep the education going. And if you have any input, if I missed something, did something wrong, then you know I'm not too proud. Please speak up, let me know, and uh, we can discuss it and talk about it and I can make another video correcting myself if need be. But everybody have a great rest of your day. And once again, I hope this is beneficial and we'll see you soon.